Hello everyone, thank you for watching. I am George and today we're going to be changing the oil on this 2016 Toyota Sienna. This van has almost 16,000 miles on it, so it's definitely time to change the oil. All the tools that you're going to need is 14 millimeter wrench. Um, and I have a cap oil filter wrench or regular oil filter wrench. I'll see which one works. And the 14 millimeter is for the drain plug. And some gloves because we want to protect our hands from oil and of course you will need the new oil and the new oil filter in this case this car takes zero weight 20 so let's do it okay so now we are under the car and everything is exposed we didn't have to remove any splash shield this is the oil filter we're gonna put a um, socket on here and we're gonna remove this part let it drain and then we will remove the whole housing and this is the drain plug we'll drain it right now and then remove the oil filter okay so now I have uh, loosened the drain plug I have my drain pan under I'm going to drain the oil but what you want to do is keep pushing toward the pan while you're unscrewing so you don't get like drips while you're unscrewing see keep pushing this way and then suddenly just remove the bolt and there you have it I think these drain bolt don't have a crush washer or a gasket on them okay let that drain and after that we'll remove the oil filter I have removed the oil filler cap so the oil can drain faster sorry guys it's just really hard to film under the car Okay, now so we're, we're, since we're just dripping, I'm gonna come here with with the end of the of the extension of the three eighths ra ra ratchet, and I'm gonna remove this part. So the oil filter is gonna drain through this, and then I'm gonna replace the gasket on this part and remove the whole thing, so we can change the oil filter. That's the regular extension on the socket. <clears throat> now I can unscrew it by hand. Oh, there isn't a lot. See, this is a magnet. You have, you gotta clean the magnet. See this? At least you gotta clean it. Replace the O-ring right there, and then unscrew the whole thing. Okay, since I didn't have the special tool to remove the oil filter, I just put this this universal oil filter wrench around it and got it stuck like this and just unscrewed it. It didn't take a lot of work. Okay, let's remove it. It has an O-ring, so... dripping didn't drip through the I am let that drain I'll, I'll take this out okay so I removed the bottom part the bottom part of here and we're gonna remove this these o-rings the OEM o-ring is green like that because we did the last oil change in the dealer so it's green like that I tried to get the OEM stuff online but I couldn't and I trust KNN so we're good to go I'm gonna get screwdriver to just pry this out gently oh I got it by hand alright cool Add this off. Yep. They're still like really pliable, they didn't really need changing, but anyway, we have new ones. Okay. So we're gonna coat the new ones with a little bit of new oil, fresh oil, and put them back in place. This is a magnetic drain plug. You have to clean it every time you change the oil. Otherwise, it's 
dirt and debris are gonna stay here and it's not gonna filter as well so be sure to clean that okay and now we're gonna put this one right here Everything looks good. I just need to tighten this one a little bit. Okay, so now let's put the oil filter on. It goes either up and down, that's fine. And uh, let's go screw this one on. We will screw this one back on. And there you go. Let's screw it on. Make it as tight as you can by hand. You don't need more than that. It's spring loaded, so you'll, you'll get some resistance. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so that's just about all what you need. It has an O-ring, so it won't leak. Just make it hand tight. And now we will put our drain plug back in. Okay. doesn't have a crush washer or a gasket so it's just screws on it has some inclined surface to prevent leaks okay I'm gonna tighten that so what I did was I cut a quart in half because the funnel doesn't go in there so I'm gonna use this as a funnel now we're gonna close the filler cap lower the van and turn it on for 15 seconds and then shut it back off and then wait for a minute and then check the oil level okay now we want to check the oil level wipe it put it back in and it's all the way to the full that is great Alright guys, and here is how you reset the maintenance required light. Turn the ignition on. Go to trip A. Okay, turn the ignition back off. You want to hold this push down button with one finger. Okay. And turn the ignition on and keep holding it. Okay, like so. You'll see the dashes when the dashes go away. The resetting maintenance data is done. All right, guys, that was it. It took me around 20 minutes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. I upload new video every single day. Thank you, guys, for watching.